Hi everyone, vlogger of the year, reporting for duty. Welcome back to another vlog. But now I shine with your reflection on me. Maybe I should say welcome back to another series of pointless clips where at the end I apologise for being bad at vlogging. <laughs> but no, I am going to give this another, another red hot go today. Because I look back through some of my other vlogs um, from like when I first started like three months ago or yeah it was really kind of nice looking back on like coming out of lockdown and that kind of thing so I kind of remembered why I'm doing it, kind of remember that I really like doing it. I also overcame the file challenges I was having on my computer and I think I'm also, I think also I try and often pack too much in whereas actually I don't need to put as much pressure on myself as I do and just focus on getting like a day of continuous clips that makes sense rather than like yeah I think I go in with like no real predetermined idea of what I'm actually doing and then I go out and I'm like oh I don't have my camera or like oh my phone's dead or whatever I don't really plan whereas if I just plan one day of getting clips <laughs> maybe that'll be okay so the POA for today is I am about to go to the post office to pick up a parcel and to post a parcel. There is, there is no greater feeling in the world when you know you need to go to the post office to post a parcel, you put off going and then you get home to a collection card because you're like, fuck yes, I've cheated the system because your procrastination in not going means that you now don't have to go twice because you can just kill two birds with one stone, which I've realised is a horrible saying but it serves a purpose. Um, so I'm gonna go and do that. I'm gonna quickly go and do that in the car before my boyfriend takes the car for the day. And if the package is what I think it is, it might be quite fun to open together, but I'm not sure it could be something really boring like dishwasher tablets or something, <laughs> but I've got a feeling it might be a PR package. So we'll see. And I am posting a dress that I sold on Marketplace because I have just been absolutely popping off my tits on marketplace at the moment <laughs> i'm just obsessed i was like closing deals the other night when i was at a bar with my friends <laughs> i was like sorry i'm closing deals on marketplace because i'm just like i mean it's a financial decision i need extra cash at the moment so it's really good but i just the thrill of it the absolute thrill of it So this is the dress that I sold. I actually got it, um, I actually thrifted it. Oops. I actually thrifted it a couple of years ago. And so it's really nice that it's going on to another home. Um, but it's actually, I think it might be homemade, I'm actually not sure. Um, but I'm having a real difficulty with this button. But um, yeah, it's just a really sort of, it's a long sleeved, I'm having like seller's remorse whenever I sell things. I'm like, oh, maybe I should have kept it. But the reality is, but the reality is I haven't worn it in like two, I haven't worn it since pre-COVID. So I'm obviously not gonna wear it, am I? Okay. All right, so we've got a new driving POV and I'm wondering if this is gonna mean that I can finally vlog while driving. I'm very excited by the prospect of this PR Packard. Sorry if you can hear that rattling around. I've got, because I'm a human piece of trash, I have obviously got the mandatory selection of water bottles and drink bottles in my footwell, in my passenger footwell. So, do with that what you will. God, there's so many people out exercising already. <laughs> so it's like the drive of shame. <laughs> the drive of shame where you're going to pick up a PR parcel and possibly get a pastry. <laughs> and everyone else is out for a jog or a dog walk. Anyway, I am what I am. I am what I am. Is that a song or I made that up? 
this post office kind of gives me PTSD because I actually fell over at this post office, like entering this post office and I broke my elbow. <laughs> Which is really fucking painful, by the way. Oh, all right, we got the goods. That parcel looks like it has been through the absolute ring. It's been really delayed too. It looks bruised and battered because of its journey through life. So we shall see how the contents have survived. But let's get back so I can give my BF, the golf superstar, Tiger Woods the second, maybe third, some Tiger Woods other son. He's right next after him. Hey gang, we have got the parcel. It's what I thought it was. It's from Marks and Spencer, which is so lovely. They included me in their last PR round for the, oh, I'm out of frame. They included me in, my, in their last PR round for the um, Christmas taste of home boxes, where they had like some M&S food sent out to people in Australia, which was lovely. Gobbled all of that up with gusto. And for some reason, they like me enough to give me um, a coat. I mean, it is February in the Southern Hemisphere, so it's going to be a couple of months before I can wear it. But so cute. It was for Valentine's Day, but the post fucked up. <laughs> it didn't come in time. So I need to get some contact with that later, but it says, I wonder if you can read it. Apparently everyone's been going buck wild for this coat, this pink coat, because Kate Middleton was seen wearing it. Um, or, or one like it, I guess. Um, Dear Emma, happy Valentine's Day. Our Australian customers have fallen in love with this pink coat and so we wanted you to have your very own. Something about that just seems so lovely. And then Paige, who works with Brownside, which is the PR, um, she's like, I hope it's everything you manifested because I was thinking how much I wanted to get a new winter coat this year. And then she emailed me that day and was like, can I send you something? And I was like, get fucked. <laughs> because I must have manifested it. So look at this color. I'll slip it on quickly now for you. But I mean, obviously I'm wearing activewear. Um, it's cute though. And I don't even really wear pink that much, but it's really gorge. Hang on. It's really gorge. The structure. I mean, I've got really short arms, so the sleeves are always really long on me. Um, it's really, really cute. I think it will actually be a really nice pop of colour in my otherwise quite neutral wardrobe. And like this, this shirt that I like live in, that will go so well. Ooh. So yeah, I'm really excited. Thank you, Marks and Spencer. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go for a walk because what I want to do today, because I don't need to leave the house till like 4.30, I don't think, for this part A. What I want to do is I just want to catch up on maths. Um, I'm not crazy about maths, Married at First Sight. I mean, it's, I do enjoy it, but my mum really loves it. And the Australian one is getting, the Australian season that we've got now is getting aired in the UK next week, I think. So she's gonna be watching it. So I thought I'd watch it along with her because um, she lives by herself. So it's nice for her to have someone to talk about it with. <laughs> and yeah, so what I wanna do is watch that, like clean up a little bit, just like Potter, do bits and bobs. And I know that once I settle in with that, I won't want to go out for a walk again. So I'm gonna do that first, and then I've got a reward for when I get back. Mm. The first HCB of the season. Looking good, looking fly. It is such a fucking great temperature outside today. It's not too hot, it's not too cold. It's, I think it's like 20 degrees, and the sun is gorge. The sky is blue. I feel like that Venga Boys song. It's like, we are now approaching Ibiza airport. The sky is blue and the beach is waiting for you. I tell you what, I tell you what, I actually do really love the winter for the fact that you can go for a walk so much easier. Well, at least I can. Do you know what I mean? It's lovely when you get the right temperature and you can go for a walk and it's not too hot. But for me in the summer, I walk so much less and my fitness really does suffer. 
I really do think my fitness suffers actually. Um, I feel like I feel quite good when I can walk good distances, but when I get too sweaty, it is not for me. I bloody love a cold, wintry morning with a, jer with a jacket on and a puffer coat or something like that. Because um, you warm up while you walk, right? Like, so often I would go out in my puffer coat, when we did like walks in lockdown and things like that, I would go out in my puffer coat and I'd be too hot halfway around the park and I would just take it off. So, I do love that. They're the things that I look forward to about winter, because I'm thinking about winter now, because it's that coat that came. <laughs> I love it when they ask you your name, but they still call you Strong Arm and Latte. I'm back. Back from a walk. Got my sweaty forehead to boot. And look, I am absolutely gagging for one of these hot cross buns. But, oh, they're vegan. So they would be, wouldn't they? I'm gagging to have one of these, but I've kind of got this visione vision to translate for my redonkulous language of like putting on the TV, having a nice toasted buttery hot cross bun, slamming it down and getting up to get a second one. And so I am going to do that. However, on my walk, I had this sudden like burning desire to record a quick bonus podcast episode just with this like thought process that I'm going through like around feeling good and we should filter everything through feeling good when we do have that choice because like life is so hard and like money is really hard when you don't have any so if you have the choice to make it not hard or not feel shit we should do that so I don't know I'm, I feel like I might just plug in my microphone and chat for five minutes just for a quick bonus app. Um, I'm not gonna obviously script it or anything, but not that I tend to script anyway, but I tend to like note down, you know, a rough plan for the episode. I think I might just do that quickly because it might be quite fun and I can film that. And um, then I'm gonna have my hot cross bun and I'm gonna watch Summer House on Hey You. I'm gonna watch Maths. I've got Below Deck to watch, but I think I need to prioritize Maths. If I were to Kanban board, <laughs> if I were to Kanban board my reality TV shows, if you've ever seen one of those, it's where it's like, it's like a matrix of like what's important and what's not important and what's like, what's urgent, what's not urgent, what's gonna have the most impact or something. Yeah, I need to put maths in the top of the Kanban board so that that's gonna move the needle forward the most <laughs> in my life. So I'm gonna do this quick potty. It might be a total disaster and not even go to air, but. We can give it a hot go. Fucking USB-C. Le bane of mon vie. My life. This might be dog shit. Let's do this. Hi everyone, welcome back to an unexpected drop of the Broke Generation podcast. I am... Thanks for that. My cat just... All right, we're gonna start again. Hi everybody, welcome back to an unexpected drop of the Broke Generation podcast. This is just going to be a really quick episode, but I just went on a walk. And I don't know if this happens to anyone else, but sometimes during walks, I just have these like epiphanies or like random strikes of what I would call genius. Other people might call total and utter dog shit. Um, I don't know, I'd get some thoughts in my head and sometimes, I mean like as a content creator, that kind of is where a lot of ideas come from. They just kind of pop out at you in the middle of in the middle of nowhere when you least expect it and you have to pause your podcast and like start scribbling down in your notes app, which is what I had to do for this one. Alrighty, we 
we did it. It's uploading as we speak. Well, it's uploaded, but it takes a hot second to get out to Apple Podcasts and Spotify. All right, that is done. It is time for my hot cross bun. Ooh. You know what? I'm just going to go straight in for two. In the meantime, I will get Hey You ready. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm in a miscarriage. Holy. Are you single? Yeah. Mm. 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 A sheep! Okay. A sheep gave birth! <laughs> okay. Oh, so cute! Hey, hey, cats and kittens. I am two episodes deep in maths. So I'm on episode five. The episodes are just so long. <laughs> struggling, I'm struggling to get through it because the episodes are so long. Um, not minding my hair naturally. Why does that always happen when you're like washing it to go somewhere and then it decides to look kind of cute natural? So I think I'm gonna wear this tonight. Um, we're doing barefoot bowls. So I haven't done that before, but I figured this is like quite comfortable. It's summery. Yeah. So I'm back from the bowls club. There was like one tiny second clip. Please enjoy. Um, I've driven home now to call my mum because it's her birthday as well. So it's all kicking off. <laughs> I'm starving. I haven't had anything since that whole cross bun. Um, and they're obviously eating now at the bar, but I just didn't think this through. I was like, oh yeah, they're gonna eat at the bar, obviously. And I'm coming home and haven't had any food. <laughs> Love this for me. So yeah, I'll work something out. I'm still deciding if I'm gonna go back to the bar because I could kind of go a few drinks, but also that means like Ubering in, Ubering back. I mean, who's got the time? Who's got the money? I'll see how I feel. Let's prepare to call my mother for her 64th birthday. A random thought. Do you remember when you would like take pictures for MySpace or even the early days of Facebook, like from really up high and you'd be like, and like that in black and white would be your picture. It'd be like, looking away. Top of the morning to you. Oh, my tan's developed, lovely. And I'm getting ready to do a little workout before our day kicks off. So we've got a lunch for my boyfriend's sister's birthday, which was the same as the bowls last night. And because today is the actual day, shit, I must text her. And then later on, we are planning to go for a celebratory dinner, just the two of us, because he won his golf championship yesterday. So that's really exciting. So, quite a nice day. We've also got some like admin bits to do in there, food shopping, vacuuming, all that bullshit. But first up, I'm gonna do a workout because I wanted to wear this set. Sorry, my camera died um, while I was doing that, but I can show you now because I've just changed the battery. So oh, you still can't really see, but anyway, it's like this kind of plum purple shorts and top set, which I love. And I'm gonna try and do this Pilates hit workout that I remember doing on one of my many pursuits of trying to do home workouts in the past. <laughs> I've honestly been trying to do this for like, I don't know, since however long YouTube's been around. I've never had success until this year, largely because I moved into a much bigger place. So that's probably why. But anyway, I remembered I really liked this workout that was one thing I did like do occasionally. So I'm gonna try and do that now because I wanna start trying to do a bit more like toning stuff. Um, 
my body naturally gravitates towards cardio, which is like so weird because most people hate cardio and love like weights and things like that. Whereas I don't mind cardio because I'm such a sweaty person. I'll sweat whatever I'm doing. I'll sweat like hanging out the laundry. I like the fact that you can zone out a bit more during cardio, I think. But anyway, I'm gonna try and do this because it's kind of like a nice blend and I wanna sort of do a bit more toning, strengthening exercises because I'm noticing my core is not very strong. So sometimes when I do workouts outside when I skip, like, or I'm on the mini trampoline, yeah, my pelvic floor is as if I've given birth to like quintuplets yesterday. So um, I'm gonna try and do some more strengthening. So the other good thing about this is that there's no real like fitness blender, she just talks, there's no music or anything. So I'm gonna have that set up on my iPad here. And then I'm going to have maths on the TV. So see how that goes. We are done and I've just realized it's already like it's already after 11 so <laughs> I need to start getting ready soon. I'm ready. Feeling myself today. Feeling myself in general actually lately. I'll show you my outfit. This is what I'm wearing. I've gone with this like blazer dress from Saba which is just really comfortable but also smart. Love the color. I curled my hair with my hot rod which is this one. So last night we went out for dinner, which was lovely. We had the best steak with mac and cheese on the side. Mm, it was amazing. And yeah, I just went on a lush Monday morning walk wearing my, ooh, wearing my DK Active set. Gonna wrap this vlog up here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this one was more enjoyable than the last shit show. Subscribe to the newsletter if you haven't already. It's on the screen right now. Check out the podcast if you haven't already. Also on the screen right now. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Yes, I'm the